This island's population in 2001 was reportedly over 10,000. 20 years later, it's 83. This island's name is Ikeshima, and it gained traction in the 1950s due to the discovery of coal in the island. Oh, man, broke my foot. So upon first landing on the island, I came across many abandoned apartment buildings, sheds, goats, <laughs> and cranes. <laughs> Let's go up there. that blue water down there. It's amazing. Right, the inside of this building is pretty epic. I gotta be careful I don't fall through the floor at any time, of course, but uh, uh, I think this could also be a great sleeping spot. It's kind of insulated, it's not too cold, so I might just be able to sleep in here. Anyways, let's try getting on top of this thing. I need to be careful I don't get seen. If I get seen, I might be in some trouble. Oh, this is the most decrepit ladder I've ever been on. <laughs> okay, so this right here is the crane which was used to load coal onto the boats. I can't really show too much of me climbing it due to YouTube's guidelines, but it was a really stupid thing to climb. In fact, everything I climbed in this video was extremely stupid, as the floor just about everywhere is ready to crumble at any moment. Shit, I've been seeing it. There's a guy right there. He doesn't see me. Unless he's going to alert the authorities on me right now. This right here is the old water desalination plant, the place where water from the ocean, saline water, gets turned into drinkable water. This place is so rusty I wouldn't doubt a pack of wild dogs could knock it down. Despite that though, I wanted to explore it. Oh, this is so rusty. I have no gloves. Thing, the bar fell off. The whole bar fell off. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, we're not climbing that. <laughs> you know, having not done too much exploring around Japan in the time I've been here, I assume places like this didn't really exist, but they do, and they're top tier. I need to be careful, but I climb as if if I caught that on camera a second ago, I nearly just, if that was higher, I would have fell down and died. So, I gotta be careful. It's the manager's room right here. It smells terrible in here. Okay, I'm gonna stop, start climbing this thing. The ladder looks really fucked up right there, so we're gonna go check it out, but it's too dangerous, I'm not gonna do it. I don't know guys, would you climb that? I think the answer is gonna be no for me. I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Yeah, we're going down. Okay, I may have bitched out on that fucking tower, but it's time for the real fun. Whatever the fuck this is. I wanna get to the top of here. Oh, how do I get up here? Oh, the building's falling apart. I see some stairs over there. How that broke off. So if I've learned anything from this place so far, it's that it's the most dangerous place I've ever walked on. So I have to honestly, swear to honest God, be very safe with every step. If this is gonna fall, this floor is gonna fall. This is I, I hope. I don't even know, dude. Is this place safe? The whole staircase could fall down. What is in here? The 
stairs inside and go this way. Thank God I went this way because if I went through that door, there was no floor and I would have fallen through and died. I've climbed some really tall cranes and stuff, but this is definitely one of the most dangerous places I've ever been. This floor is not safe. Let me go the other way. Stairs feel kind of sketch, but I mean, generally up to this point they've been fine, so let's just keep going. Looks like we made it. <laughs> we made it to the top. This place was only built in the 1950s and 70 years it did this much corroded damage. It's amazing. Alright, now it is obviously the safest to go back the same way, but I am no pussy. It's my camera on the floor down there. God, I think I need to go all the way back up. What the fuck is this? There's no staircase. It's also extremely dangerous. Oh my God, I think I might die today. Can I get in here? Could try walking here, but what do you guys think my odds are that I die? I think it might be better not to take the chance. Right down the stairs in here. I wouldn't doubt if this building fell down on me. Get the fuck out of here. This floor is fucked. This floor right here is fucked. The staircase we get up. I gotta go out here. What is under here? I can't tell. Is there a floor here? this door open? Is this safe? Seems like it's safe. No, it's not safe. I can put weight here. Is there an exit? I see what? I just got down. Um, I mean, that was all my fault, so I'm just complaining to myself, but that was really fucking dangerous. Get out of here. Pretty damn surreal as you walk to this island. You see nobody, no cars. Occasionally you see like a goat or something, but bird, that's about it. Where the heck is my map taking me, man? <laughs> Whoa. This right here is easily one of the coolest, most desolate views I've ever seen in my life. I'm not sure how it comes off on camera, but down this street, there's a bunch of high rise buildings on each side, overgrown bushes, and every building is abandoned. 
These buildings right behind me are eight-story apartment buildings, which the majority of the residents on the island used to live in. But when the coal mining operations declined, majority of the families left. Now, it seems to not really be known exactly why everything went abandoned, but I did talk to one couple and they gave me some interesting insights. The first lady told me that due to environmental reasons, they were essentially forced to shut down. Meanwhile, the other guy who had actually worked in the mine told me that the need for coal had severely declined, causing it to become not so profitable. Fuck my shit is stuck on barbed wire. Uh. Alright, this is really cool. Look at this fucking building. I'm only on the fourth floor. Still gotta go up higher. <laughs> it's fucking sick. Here's what the actual rooms in this place look like now. I mean, they're not too bad. Hey, what the heck? There's a bike up here. It's a rideable. It's quite the heavy ass bike. Ah. Definitely not rideable. Oh, that was hard to jump over. Got cut a little bit. I have about an hour into the last boat. And I'm about 30 minutes away of like a really fast jog to the boat. So if I want to get on top of this thing and climb it, I gotta go quick. What is this building? I don't even know. All I know is I don't got time if I want to climb this thing. A window open here if I need it. I see a ladder. Here we are. All right, we gotta climb this shit quick. How do I climb this? Is there a ladder? I can't even go up this because I can't, nothing to hold on to. I don't wanna cut myself on this shit. Like this. I need to get over there. This thing doesn't really leave me there. Fucking stupid. I think I just broke my foot. Ugh. Oh, what do I do? Oh, oh my god. Oh. Ah. I need to get out of here. I need to get on this boat. Oh, my backpack is up there. I don't even want to find it. Oh man. I need to try getting up. Oh, I can't I can't let put my leg down. Oh, I know it's gonna hurt. Oh. oh, what do I do? Oh man, it's so cold. I'm shaking all of a sudden. I'm shaking all of a sudden. Oh man, I'm cut my hand just there. I can leave the island. I have to see if this hill on my map goes up to where that fence was because I can't walk. Ugh. Oh, the pain from the leg. Oh, I gotta go back and get the camera now. I'm hoping it's possible to go under this. Looks like it is. Okay, so let's talk about what happened. I'm in the corner of the island here, and I slowly lugged myself back to get my backpack. And then, I went to the only hotel on the island, where I was the only guest. 
When I woke up in the morning, I thought I was fine, but when I decided to try walking on my foot, I realized it was no longer possible. I ended up popping off the island, hitching a ride to the city, I then hopped around for a few more days and then eventually gave in, went to the hospital where I spent 161 bucks on crutches and x-rays. On the bright side, it should heal within one to two weeks, but negatively, I'm forced to spend my money staying in hotels. Obviously, I don't got money for this, so I borrowed 300 bucks. That's where I'm at now. Consider joining my Patreon or send me some money on PayPal. See you next time.